Hey, this is Mr. Snow. If you like what you're about to see, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and comment in the section below. With that said, on with the video. Alright YouTube, Twitter, y'all win. I wanted to talk about something fun. Sonic Mania Plus just came out and my daughter and I have been having a good time. But nope! Apparently, I really needed to see this ad from Bonobos about how it's time to evolve the term masculinity. No idea why it's showing up on my pages. All my subscriptions and follows are like Sargon Avocado and Razor Fist. I mean, it's almost like y'all are trying to push something, but that couldn't be the case. By the way, I had to Google what Bonobos is, and aside from a breed of primate, it's a men's clothing outlet. I guess they're owned by Walmart or something. Anyway, let's dive into this. Masculine. Adjective. Having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with men. Especially strength and aggressiveness. Some of the synonyms are macho, manly, muscular, <laughs> well built, red blooded. Red blooded? My goodness. Strapping, strong, brawny, powerful. I agree. While obviously not exclusive to males, the words used in the definition for masculine are associated with males because we've had to be strong and aggressive to eke out any form of prosperity in this world no matter how small and insignificant. Well, at least until it became acceptable for us to live with our parents well into our 30s. And those of us who live outside of the liberal nanny bubble still learn from a young age nothing in this world will be handed to us. We have to go out and get what we want, be that food or shelter or companionship. Side note, by the way, online dating has completely screwed us as a society. None of these really sound like me. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think powerful when I see you either. <laughs> I think that definition is a little scary. It's too small for something so big. It's all about trying to get people to conform and be a certain way. Is this video, and by extension the social justice ideology it's peddling, not a push for conformity? We all do it, we're way more groupish than we want to believe, and even the free speech activists like Sargon are trying to get everyone else to conform to their beliefs on the subject. It really is just whose side do you want to play on? You guys in this video just suck at meeting the definition for masculine, so you want it changed. Which, don't get me wrong, I understand. It's like the people who complain about capitalism while they get useless degrees and take orders at Starbucks. They suck at playing the game so they want it changed to when they might fare better at. I think that's what gets us in trouble is when we say that there's only one way to be a man. So many individuals, they try and fit and it just gets to a point where it's too much. Where they are doing harm to each other and harm to themselves. You don't have to do that. You define your own masculinity. You define who you are. For me, being masculine is being honest. This is the body that I have. This is what I know. So to me, this is what a man is. For me, being masculine means being brave enough to be who I am. Okay, I assume that one is gay. Enough with that I'm brave because I'm openly gay routine. It's 2018. Nobody cares anymore. These days, you're far more likely to catch someone's ire if you're anti-gay. The people who legit take issue with homosexuality are largely quiet about it because society as a whole is on your side. I mean, gee whiz, you guys have a parade and all you had to do was like kissing the same sex. Trust me, you've won already. Being able to smile, being able to cry, being able to love and be loved. That's Fist of the North Star says hello. That's the man I want to be. What does it mean to me to be masculine? Um, it's more a question of what does it mean to be human? Let's be honest here, Bonobos, you're not trying to evolve anything. You're trying to mutate a term. You don't live up to a dictionary definition and you feel a way about it, so you want to change it. This serves as an example as to why people hate the greater social justice schemes. To put it blunt, stuff like this ad is a bunch of weak people trying to change the world around them so they don't have to experience a negative emotion. No, I don't have to change. The world around me has to change. Anyway, as always, I hope y'all got something out of this video, and I hope y'all have a great day.